I just wanted to share some more work we're doing with uh, Mobile ArcGIS Online. This is an application running on an iPad. Um, what we've done is we've loaded here a web map, so this is something that's been published out to ArcGIS Online. It's uh, basically a simple polygon layer. The focus of this application is editing, so editing both online and offline. And let's just go ahead and do a quick edit. So we wanted to add a feature to this particular um, polygon layer. We're going to go ahead and tap this. We'll add the feature. We'll get the attribute box come up. We're just going to OK that. And that's now been added to ArcGIS Online. So that's a new feature that's part of that layer. The uh, addition to this that we, uh, we were interested in adding was the attachments piece. So let's just go ahead and tap this feature. There's an attachments button in the bottom hand corner of this attributes box. If you hit the open camera button, that actually opens the camera on the iPad. Take the picture and it's going to attach that picture to that particular feature. We've got the option to either cancel and take the picture again or attach that picture as is. So let's go ahead and attach that. And we'll see in a minute. Uh, a box that comes up that says attachment complete. What's that? What that's actually doing is adding that attachment to ArcGIS Online. So we we are actually updating ArcGIS Online not only with the attribute information but also we can attach multimedia elements to that feature. So that's not just imagery as in this case, but video and audio as well. So um, the update uh, and the back end is is happening and is is integrated in ArcGIS Online. So there's the attachment complete. Let's just close that box and let's just prove the point that we've actually got that feature attached and there is that feature just there, um, that image. So we've now, which is, which is really very, very useful in terms of data collection. One other thing we were asked about as part of this application was annotation. People actually want to draw on this map. So what we did is we actually added the, uh, an annotation tool. Now when this comes up, this may look familiar to some of you who are watching this. This is actually taken from the Flex Viewer for ArcGIS. On, uh, for ArcGIS. Um, it's in development, so we've still got some work to do on the look and feel of it. But I wanted just to show you what we've got. So when you tap a particular feature type, you've got these options that pop up. So you can change the color, opacity, you can change the style of it as well. Let's just leave it as the default and we'll just draw it on the map. What it also includes is area and perimeter, so it does a calculation of, of, uh, of, of the real size of that actual um, object itself. The, um, so the idea really here is not only can things be measured, but it also things can be drawn. So if you're in the field and you want to make notes on things, then um, you can go ahead and do that. And in fact, look, why don't we just do something along the lines of uh, this? Let's go. Um, let's do this. Oh, here we go. Uh, my rectangle. Okay. And there we have that as well. So we can actually make notes on the map. Now the, the next section of this work will be actually sharing this data with desktop users. So we can actually email this data about with the annotation to users who are on desktops and they can open that up and actually visualize the data that's been collected in the field. So whatever information might have been gathered and actually annotated on the map could be shared with, a, with a, an office user. So uh, we're building that out and, and a number, number of other widgets uh, which we're uh, um, going to be adding to this uh, GeoMobile application that we're building. Thanks for watching.